inventing my new Jeep Gladiator. Doing it my way. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Today, I'm gonna to do a little bit of debadging. Now, I've already done a little bit in the rear, and that was the sport sticker or decal that was right back here. Took that off because, quite frankly, I know it's a sport. I don't really need to have that on there, and I'm not a big decal fan anyway. So today, I'm gonna to tackle the gladiator sticker right here. I am not taking off the Jeep uh, emblem here. I like that. And I am not going to take the Jeep emblem off the back either, this uh, bigger emblem right here. I kind of think that looks pretty cool. But we are going to remove the gladiator from the side because again, quite frankly, I know it's a gladiator. I don't need to have that there. Although I will say there's nothing wrong with this one. I do kind of like it, but it's got to go. So what do I use? Well, a hairdryer to heat this up just a little bit. And again, I would recommend a hairdryer versus a heat gun because the heat gun just gets too hot. And why risk damaging your paint when a hairdryer will work just as well? Then a little bit of simple, well, it's actually not simple green. It's actually just water with about six drops of soap in it just to clean it up when I'm done. And that's because I'll use Goo, Goo Gone. I always want to call it Goo Be Gone, but it's Goo Gone um, just to get whatever leftover adhesive might be there. Hopefully there will be none. And then of course, the coarsest Scotch-Brite pad. No, I'm kidding. Do not use one of these. Do not scratch your paint with one of these. Let's get rid of that before I'm tempted. Anyway, I'll set you guys up on a, uh, a tripod here and I'll show you how easily, hopefully, this thing comes off. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna heat this up a little bit. I have cleaned off around the edges so that I don't, you know, kinda sand anything with the dirt. The truck is dirty. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm thinking that should be enough. We're gonna start right here on the corner and I'm gonna break the rule. I'm gonna use my fingernail, but that's the least abrasive thing I have, right? So here we go. We're gonna start right on the edge, hopefully. Get it just a little bit peeled and it's coming off perfectly. Check that out. Awesome. Um, and I now have a gladiator sticker to put on one of my cabinets. Now that I've got it off, just want to do a little feel test. There is no adhesive, just some dirt from around the edges. So I'm going to take my little concoction here. Goo gone is not necessary. Um, and kind of wipe that area off just to make sure. Yeah, feels really smooth. Nothing is grabbing on there at all. And you'll know if there's any adhesive left, you'll see it because dirt will accumulate and stick to that adhesive. And then you'll have a nice little outline of where that sticker used to be. If that happens, just throw a little bit of goo gone on there, wipe it down, and you should remove any leftover adhesive. But that's what it looks like, so I'm going to tackle the other side. I'll be back on for some final thoughts. Okay, that's it. It's amazing how simple it is to remove those decals with just a little bit of heat from a hairdryer. I mean, you saw that thing peeled off like it was put on yesterday, and this Jeep is over a year old, so it didn't stick too much, the adhesive wasn't hard or overly sticky, came off perfectly. Uh, you can see what it looks like. Again, there was no adhesive left on there, it all stayed on the sticker itself. Looks perfect, no scratches, no issues. In my opinion, the method that I used in this video is the best way to do it. You should certainly never use anything abrasive on your truck. 
And I've even seen people out there talk about using razor blades to get under the edge. You know, unless you are really, really good with a razor blade, I would certainly never do that because all you have to do is catch a little bit and you'll shave off some of that clear coat and maybe even the paint itself. Highly do not recommend doing it that way. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new look, the naked Jeep. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels, Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma out there. And Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport hatchback and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.